What's going on guys? Team Joker here with Johnny Tao who just took first place at the Illustrious Cards Games. Yes sir, yes sir. Um, what, a case event? Yeah, case event. Yeah, hell yeah. So I got a bunch of boxes here. Look at that, that juice. Yeah. Look at that juice. <laughs> Lick them lips. Lick them lips. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we play baby? Um, I played uh, Edward Newgate, aka Whitebeard. AKA White Mustache, because he doesn't yeah. have a beard. Lies. He does not have a, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, the thing with this leader is it's crazy. It's a 6k base leader, it's nuts. This deck is crazy. I, I'm not very good at the game. I think, I think the deck carried me. <laughs> seriously, hey, no, man, se honestly. no, seriously, yeah. <laughs> um, and obviously, you know, the custom leader from Joku DMD himself, from Jonic. And then of course, you know, gotta flex with the straw hat. Fire. Oh my god. Oh. Fire, guys. Every straw hat has their moment, you know? <laughs> so, I don't think I would've won if I, if I wasn't playing these customs, so. Man, <laughs> shout outs to uh, Jonic. Shout outs to Jonic. All right, so Joku this is Strawbeard. I feel like Strawbeard is the most consistent because I'm not trying to play a Moby Dick. Moby Dick is just extra cards that I don't want to have to combo with. Mm. So in total, I'm playing 11 non comboable cards. Everything else is combo. So uh, for the Straw Hats, four Nami is a standard. All right, so this card, this is for, okay, so normally white people wants to go second, right? This is for if I lose the die roll and they make me go first. Okay. I have a I have a turn two play in uh, Robin, and um, the idea of it is that it's also a straw hat for Nami, and it's also removal, and it gives me a turn two play. Did I ever summon it? No. <laughs> hey man. But the idea is there. <laughs> Um, so there's that, some straw hats. So continuing on with it, uh, we have four of the 4K, four drop 6K, and then three of the Frankies. I always, if I'm if I'm going second, I always want to see these cards, but I feel like eight, you don't really need eight. There was never a time where uh, I wished I had it and I didn't have it. 6K for four is kind of nice. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It makes it so that uh, your board is the same as your leader, so that they're always swinging six. Um, so they're, they're always just losing cards, essentially. Yeah, exactly, turn. yeah. So seven is fine. I don't think you need eight. Um, I'm playing, like, other cards, too. Um, I'm actually playing, uh, for the Vanillas, I have this five drop 7K. King Dude! Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. He's, like, all right. He's got nice. a nice chest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, by himself, uh, if you put a Dawn on him, he can contest wipe your leaders for eight, which is, like... So it's good in a mirror match, which yeah. you're going to see if you're doing well, right? Exactly. That's what you want to swing for. You want to swing for even numbers against this deck. So 11, 11 uh, vanillas, and then now for our, these are our non comboable cards. We have five Rush Luffy. Um, he's really good. He's also base 6K, but he's also he only costs five, so he's a little bit overstated compared to uh, Ace. Uh, Ace is crazy. Ace is really good at uh, board removal because you'll summon him. He has a rush, and then you'll leg two cards 3K. Rush is just disgusting in general. Rush is the best keyword skill in the game. Yeah. And um, he's really good for board clearing because if something's neg 3k, they're not going to defend it unless they have like a bunch of blockers or something. So uh, this is good. I'm actually playing so nine rush cards, but this is seven here. I'll show you the two later. But uh, rush, is, Zara? rush is one of the best. No, I'm not playing Zara. No. Zora's a 5k, so um, this, it, it defeats the purpose of having a 6k leader. Um, and then for New Edward Newgate, this card is crazy. Nasty. This card is wild. There was a there was a turn today where there was a game today where my opponent uh, in the mirror match he played uh, he played it on me, and I was debating if I wanted to swing for game that turn, but it forced me to have a new gate of my own. And if I didn't have a new gate of my own, I would have lost the game. But um, this card is crazy. Uh, 10k buffs your leader by two, makes your makes your uh, leader 8k. So you remember how like kid eight used to be good? It's basically kid eight on your leader. Yeah, you drop kid. Uh, the Don minus two effect. Uh, sorry, the Don X two effect when he swings kills a three cost. It doesn't really come up, um, but it can. Uh, well, sometimes they're gonna be like kind of like on the back foot by that time, right? So yeah. It's like... Yeah. If you're playing against green, uh, and they have like six K blockers like the law, you can if you have this on already on board, you can uh, neg it by three and then kill it. Hmm. So basically, there's no blockers that like these two can't get rid of. Basically, so, so you can get in there nice and yeah. deep. Like. So these are the only cards in the deck that are non comboable um, So now we get into the, the rest of the deck is all defense. So we have four uh, radical beam. Radical beam for one, it's a four K. It's really 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 strong it's kind of crazy it's pretty good yeah you're never going to use an early game so it's always one 4k um like the only other equivalent would be like 
Blast Breath, but Blast Breath you have to Dawn minus one. This one is just straight up for, um, yeah, and it's a straw hat. Not only do you have a big hand, but you also have, you know. Exactly, really good, really good defense. Um, and then the rest of this deck is all 2Ks. I play 22. Ew. Yeah, so it's four Luffy. Uh, searchable. Mm. Uh, Those four look nice. Sanji. Also searchable. And then Ultama gets rid of boards. It makes it so it's easier to get rid of boards. She's really good. Probably the best. She makes it easier to get rid of big guys, essentially, right? Exactly, yeah. And that's big important bodies. in the mirror. Yeah. I played two mirrors today. Um, what should we call it? She's really good. Probably the best UK in the game. Um, and then for Makino, for the niche situation where you have Nami's up and you want to buff Nami to swing. So for one Dawn, you're buffing, you're making uh, Nami able to contest like regular leaders. Uh, it's it's never come up honestly, but it's it's there. And then the last two is uh, two Jozu. Uh, it's a four cost four K that says Dawn X one. If you're if your wipe your leader has two or less life, he gains rush. Um, so these are this is my eighth and ninth rush cards, and uh, this came up today where I needed a rush card. Uh, to swing for game, and that was the only way I would have won if I had a rush card, and this came up today. So, so you were just nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it when I saw it. Oh, yeah. baby. So that was the deck. Um, I played, what did I play against? I played against two Kinemon, two Strawbeard Mirrors, a Zephyr, a Zoro. Um, what was your hardest matchup? Uh, the Kinemon. Kinemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil's yeah. a great player. Like the last round? Yeah, feels great. Shout out to him. Uh, shout out. Yeah. Shout outs to, uh, I already shouted out Jonna because he's the boy. He, he, he lent me most of these cards. Shout out to Miguel behind the. What's going on, there. guys? Shout out to Yuri over here. <laughs> but uh, no, but seriously, uh, all the locals in New York and all the locals in New Jersey. Yeah, so like in Jersey, uh, Illustrious Games here, Nova Games here, in New York we have Gaming Universe. Um, oh, also Team Learning and Growing, Team Lag. Gotta rep the Lag Boys, you know? So, yeah, it's a good time. Triple Agent. <laughs> yeah, basically, basically. It's a Pirate Alliance. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you around. Peace out, guys.